Right now, work is underway to try to stabilize an hillside in the east end that threatens to disrupt utility service. But there are also potential hillside slippage problems a short distance away, affecting lots of homes. The now Tom McKee is live along Riverside Drive with this new information. Tom? Well, it's not going to be very long before a 1200 foot retaining wall is built right up the hill there where you see that surveyor hard at work. Now this job has to be done quickly right now. The hillside is moving a couple of inches a month, threatening water and sewer lines, major water and sewer lines right where I'm standing right now. As surveyors worked at a feverish pitch Monday, it became clear exactly where the retaining wall will go. Orange ribbons tied to tree limbs mark the spot about 20 feet below railroad tracks. That's the area outlined here in red between Hazen and Vance streets. Heavy construction equipment will move in very soon to begin digging four foot diameter piers. It will go all the way down and get socketed into the rock and it will be six foot on center. So it's a pretty massive wall. Uh, it will have a pier cap on top that will be anchored back into the rock, so that will stabilize everything. It's water and sewer lines servicing downtown the city is trying to protect. These emergency concerns relate to critical water and sewer infrastructure. We are aware of no immediate risk to residents, pedestrians, or vehicles at this time. But 200 yards away at Riverfront Terrace, there's a lot of damage to homes, possibly from hillside movement. Driveways are pulling away from the houses. Cracks are showing in foundations. Foundations are shifting. The city says it's not their responsibility, but East End Area Community Council President Patrick Ormond hopes that changes. I'm grateful for what the city's done so far, but I hope that there's some relief for these people down the road that the city may, might be able to help out with, even if it's a tax abatement or something we can work out with the county. And that's going to take a long time to sort out. For this project here, the piers, the walls, all that thing, that's going to be done by the end of April. Tom McKee for the Now, live in the East End.